Hey guys, Sam here. So you're just looking at the website here. So if you want to order the unlock code for your Samsung Galaxy series phones or any Samsung phone at all, so you just got to go first here to our website. Once you're on the home page, click on buy now and then select your network choice. So for AT&T, we have two options. We have the cheaper option here for the clean ones right here. This one provides codes for most of the phones. But if you want a direct reply, best choice for the Samsung for AT&T is this one right here. Uh, it's under the Samsung section it says Samsung all models with this one you will get the defreeze code which is in case you have input too many unlock codes at uh, wrong unlock codes you will get that defreeze code which will reset the counter and you get the unlock code as well I highly recommend this service is one of the most reliable ones we have for AT&T and then we do have it for Canadian carriers as well right here for $22 that covers all Canadian carriers in Canada and we have for the T-Mobile and Metro PCS but please keep in mind that some of the T-Mobile newer models um, do not support uh, network code unlocking they use an app based unlock codes sorry they use app based unlock because it's all done much like an iPhone is so we do have it for cricket and we do have it for Europe models Australia New Zealand and uh, so we have the Samsung service there and then these are the instant services so these are faster these work mostly during the weekday and you will get the code within a few hours uh, to instant to a few hours for these ones so if you're looking for fastest most reliable service for AT&T and basically all the Canadian ones these two are your fastest ones and then these ones are the slower ones here so they will provide you the unlock code and from there you can unlock your phone if you're running some of the newer Samsung phones from T-Mobile Metro PCS so we do have this list of phones right here so these phones do not use any sort of unlock code from T-Mobile or Metro PCS these phones can only be unlocked using the application that's built into the Android system itself so you must order the unlock here and once we process it you will go ahead and use the official unlock application that's built in on the phone so now that we have this process covered um, you can go ahead and order the codes here that you need so we'll show you how to input the code into your Samsung phone. So we're going to use the Galaxy Note 4, for example. Hey guys, Sam here. I uh, got the Galaxy Note 4. That's a Samsung Galaxy Note 4 that I'm going to show you quickly on how to input the code and how to do the unlock on it. Please note that this, this unlock code here is specific to this phone's IMA number and will not work on yours. So do not attempt to use this code. In order to get the code, you already know exactly where to go on our website and uh, select the service for your network that your phone is locked to and order the service. We will get you the code within the specified time frame uh, and as fast as possible always. So we will get you that code and then you can use that code to unlock your own Samsung Galaxy Note 4. So Samsung Galaxy Note 4, as I always said, is one of the best Note phones made to date because the Note 5 did not have expandable storage or removable battery and the Note 7 was a complete disaster. So if you're looking for a phone that was part of the Note series, this is one of the best out there. So this one's originally locked to TELUS, but we have service available for all the US networks just about except the Verizon and uh, Sprint and CDMA networks like US Cellular and Virgin Mobile. Because those ones do not use code, so you cannot use a code or order a code or even try to unlock one of those phones using a code. There's just no way to do it. They're software locked and, and, and there's not much way to do it, uh, unlock it. Besides going down to the root level and rooting the phone, installing custom baseband firmware and things like that. So we don't get into that. We only do the unlocking by code. And that is for the US, uh, for the US networks such as Consumer Cellular, AT&T, uh, GoPhone, uh, Metro PCS, T-Mobile, and, um, and uh, any other basically GSM network that you can put a SIM card into and the phone prompts you for a code. Now, please note that if the phone does not prompt you for a code and the service may be provided on a GSM network like Straight Talk, your phone cannot accept the code or be unlocked by any code. And that is because, because the software limitations on that phone itself. So these phones right here are, uh, especially all the Canadian ones, Australian, UK, majority, 99% of the phones out there in the world are GSM LTE phones. So those ones can be unlocked by code. So here's a quick guide on how to do this one. So all you need is to order the service with your specific IMEA number, get the unlock code when it's ready, then go ahead and turn on the phone, um, make sure any and all SIM cards are removed. Now these older ones, you have to turn off, well, you can just pop the battery out, but you can power it down 
um, make sure that the phone is ready just power down then open up the back now I won't be able to do that because I'm using my iPhone 6s to uh, make this video and I'm only using one hand to do this so I'm gonna quickly just pause the video for a second I'm gonna try to peel this off if I can with one hand now let's see right here okay wow okay so I'm getting pretty good at it seems like practice makes perfect I guess so we got the battery out. I'm just gonna quickly remove this uh, tele sim card again you could unlock any GSM network phone if you're not sure if your phone is GSM or not just put in a sim card from a different network now in order to get the unlock code window to pop up on any smartphone that uses code based unlocks uh, which is 99% of the phones out there uh, except iPhones iPhones are the only ones that you cannot unlock using a code they have to be done by Apple or through Apple service directly through either through the carrier or Apple directly so there's they don't use any kind of codes but all the Android based phones Windows phones Blackberries they all use unlock codes so for the Samsung Note 4 this is originally locked to tell us we removed the SIM card and we're gonna insert the Virgin Mobile Canada SIM card into here and this is the only way for a phone to prompt to unlock now sometimes customers do have phones and they try to use it on a similar network for example AT&T and you try to use straight talk AT&T service because straight talk in US provides service through uh, AT&T on, on as a subsidiary so what happens is the AT&T service works or the, the straight talk AT&T sim card works just fine on that phone but only problem is um, there's no way to get the unlock window to come up so we're not able to get the unlock window to come up because it's still working on AT&T network so therefore the phone doesn't need to do anything additional now here we go so I put the virgin mobile sim card into it and I have powered it on and we're gonna do the slide to unlock and it's asking for the unlock code go ahead and touch it right here and then it's gonna ask you for the unlock code so for this one I'm just gonna put the code in and then it's going to click unlock or I click the unlock it says network unlock successful that is it now the phone is factory unlocked and it will get service on any network globally you do not need to put the unlock code in more than once uh, usually only other time maybe possibly what happens if you were to go ahead and root the phone change for firmware baseband and things like that maybe then the phone would uh, be able to ask you but I've never seen it happen once the phones unlocked it's unlocked permanently there's no going back to it so we are um, done unlocking the phone so as you guys can see now this phone is unlocked uh, one of the things it says unregistered sim card it only says that because the sim card I put into the phone is not activated it was never activated on any number or any service before with Virgin Mobile so it's an inactive brand new sim that I put in just to do the unlocking on this phone okay guys just wanted to clear that up thanks so again there we go uh, the phone is now fully factory unlocked and that's about it guys if you have any questions regarding unlocking or any unlocking related questions for any other smartphone not just the Note 4 or any other Samsung you name it we'll be able to answer any questions in the comments below as always, rate, comment, and subscribe if you guys have any uh, special requests for any videos or instructions or anything like that. We'll be more than happy to accommodate as much as we can and uh, post them as soon as possible. So thanks for uh, watching our video, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this was informative. Uh, if you have, Again, if you have any questions, just reach out. So we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.